today I'm going to be doing an overview of how you can use the Brother Scan and Cut Print to Cut program to print and then to cut those printed images and you can do all of this simply by using the Brother Print to Cut software program on Canvas Workspace and then cutting on your Scan and Cut SDX machine. Now you can use the Print to Cut software to design, print and then cut all sorts of pictures, photographs, images, labels and even stickers. But just before we start, Welcome to the Sewn Craft channel. My name is Shireen Haynes. Being creative and teaching are my passions and I've been doing this full time since 1993. I post regular, easy to follow, step-by-step -step videos for sewing and craft and if you would like to know when I post new videos, click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me to spread the word that sewing and crafting are fun. Thank you. Now what you will need is to purchase the Print to Cut software package. Then you will need your PC, your laptop or a tablet to connect to the Brother Canvas workspace as well as your Scan and Cut SDX cutting machine. Now inside the Print to Cut package is an activation card and printed on that activation card is a number that you're going to need to register on Canvas Workspace with. Now once you've registered that number on Canvas Workspace, you will then be able to use the program. Now the next step would be to go to your PC and open a blank document in any program of your choice and then bring in the pictures or photographs or images that you would like to print. Then you would save these images as a JPEG file or any of the other formats as suggested in image tracing on Canvas Workspace. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Canvas Workspace but the offline version or the for PC version. Then we're going to go down to image tracing and we're going to bring our JPEG file in. So now you can see my JPEG file is on my cutting mat. Now because we have registered our print to cut with Canvas Workspace we can now go to our artboard and set this image up as an A4 image and also tell it to show those all important registration marks. So now you can see there are the registration marks and these registration marks are going to get exported to our scan and cut machine with the cutting file and they are also going to get printed onto the image when we actually print it. Now this is important because all of these registration marks need to line up once we scan the image into our cutting machine. Now to print our image we would go file and we would say export PDF file and images only. So this is now going to be saved into a folder on my PC so that I can print that PDF file. So here is my printed image all ready to be loaded onto my scan and cut cutting mat. Here is the image that I printed onto a piece of paper and I've attached it to my cutting mat ready to go into my scan and cut machine. 
Now that I have printed my image, I can send the cutting file to my cutting machine. So I say file, export or transfer the FCM file, which is the file for the cutting machine. And it will warn me that only the cut date is going to be transferred. And then I am going to transfer mine wirelessly via the internet, but you could also transfer via a USB stick or via a USB cable. But I'm going to do the wireless transfer. Now I load my mat into the machine. Now I go to retrieve the data and I'm going to retrieve it wirelessly from Canvas Workspace. Now once the design is retrieved, it'll be on your scan and cut screen. So you click on OK. Now it'll give you the instructions to attach your material to your mat and load it. Now you press that little icon that has appeared since you have registered your print to cut software and you just press OK and it will start to scan. Now once it's scanned, you'll see the image on your screen and then you're going to simply select cut and then you're going to press start. So now the machine will start cutting and it will cut precisely and accurately along all the outside edges of my printed images. And once that's done, I'm going to press OK and unload my mat. Now that I've unloaded my mat, I can simply lift the excess cutting material off of the mat. And there you'll be able to see that my designs have been cut out absolutely perfectly along the outside edges. So now all that's left for me to do is to slip my little spatula in underneath the cutout designs and just lift them off of my cutting mat. And there they are.